Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can easily and quickly sort arrays in Power Automate. There isn't really a good function built into Power Automate to do this. <clears throat> you can do it with a loop but it is slow and not very elegant. I'm just interested to show you also, there's quite a bit of demand for this feature. It's got 176 votes on the Power Automate community forums. Um, and so far, nothing seems to have happened with it. So let me show you how to build it yourself. So here is a flow. And we have got an array of names of Power Automate legends. And we just want to get them sorted into alphabetical order and reverse alphabetical order. So I'm just going to run this and demonstrate what it does and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the blog has run and that is beautiful. As you can see here, this was the inputs that came in, our array, and this is the output here nicely sorted array of names. And if we go down to run script two, that array has been reversed. And so now we've got them in reverse alphabetical order. Um, just so just two actions, both of this, both using this run script action. And I've just written a very simple um, script in office scripts. Um, that does it. So let me show that to you. Okay, so I have got this Excel sheet and it's just completely empty. It's just somewhere for me to edit my functions that I've created. So I've got two functions in here, array sort and array reverse, which are the same two that we saw being executed in the flow. So let's have a look at array sort. As you can see, the bit that does the actual work is just one line of code. We just pass the array into the um, Office script, sort it, and then send it straight back to Power Automate. That's pretty good. And then if we look at array reverse, again, one line piece of code takes in an array and sends back the reverse of the array that it received. So you can see that it's dead, dead simple to do. These scripts are not actually part of um, this Excel worksheet. They're nothing to do with it. Let me just show you where they sit. Okay, so if I look in my um, OneDrive documents and then Office scripts folder, you can see this is where the um, scripts actually sit, so they're nothing to do with any Excel sheet. So the, re the requirement for Excel, this Excel file, is just to satisfy this run action because you need to specify a file name. So these are all just in my OneDrive and not actually associated with this Excel document. So I think that's pretty good. Give it a try. See how you get on. There's lots of different things you can use this for. You're getting the full power of TypeScript in this, um, in this Office Script environment. So there's all sorts of things you could potentially do with it. Try it out, let me know how you get on. And uh, let's see if we can build some extra functionality into Power Automate that's been missing and that we need. Cheers, bye-bye.